welcome back to another day of so this is vlogmas if i've done this right you'll have just seen me zooming in on the number 21 and it's of my free motion christmas pudding so we're getting towards the end now aren't we i have had to just start this video all over again because nobody will leave me alone and they can, and i thought gosh it's just gonna be crazy i might as well just start all over again so fingers crossed uh people let me talk so uh anyway i'm gonna open my mandy shaw calendar um i'm not gonna be on too long um this morning because i've got to go out and you know buy batteries that's what people are all asking me for i've got three people asking me for batteries all trying to take batteries out of things in here but they're not actually the right size thank goodness so i've got to go out buying batteries and various things food and whatever so yeah it's get you know it just gets a bit crazy this time of year doesn't it so i have been doing a little bit of crafting last night i've been made a start on mandy shaw's um that i think she calls them the three nice mice let me have a look at the pattern if it takes me too long to find it i'll um i'll forward it yeah she calls them the three nice mice out of this book um, Mandy's Red and White Christmas. So uh, I've still got a little bit of work to do. Um, I don't. I need white pipe cleaners to make the tails. You basically put them inside felt, so they haven't got tails, and they haven't got the little decorative trim, which I can't actually see. I showed you this yesterday. They haven't got their trim around their necks yet either. So they've got a little bit, and I'm going to make a little basket for them to go in. So this is what I've done so far so here's the i'm going to put them on the book actually so i can hold them all together that's the daddy and the mummy and the baby so three little mice um i've just um embroidered french nuts for their eyes i haven't put beads on like mandy has and uh oh and uh, what else have I done? And they haven't got noses yet either, so I don't know what I'm doing. But they're quite simple to make. I'm just going to quickly show you. You cut two pieces of the body and then you stitch from there to there, right? Then, when you've done that, you get that piece and you stitch then from the from the pointy end from the nose down to there on one side and then repeat that on the other so then literally you have the mouse shape then i did a running stitch all the way around the bottom and then i I've stuffed it i put a, a pa i actually put a washer in it to weigh them all down to give them a bit of something um to like you know kind of keep them in place and then i place the the circle on the bottom and then hand stitch it on mandy says to blanket stitch these together but i decided to whip stitch it but i've looked at the photo and they do look like they're whip stitch but they're they're really lovely and quick to make and i think there was lots of fun and it didn't take me any time at all and obviously i've just got a little bit more of work to do on them so i I'm going to open the calendar and um, and then I'll just see where we go from there with what happens later. And if I don't get anything done later, please forgive me because it's just a little bit crazy, as you can imagine. And I want to thank you so much for um, all the lovely comments because I've, I've now posted Stickman um, onto my social media. And I know you've seen it already on Vlogmas and I posted my... Um, pajama bag and eye mask that i showed you yesterday on there and i've had some lovely comments on them so thank you so much i haven't actually posted everything um that i've shown you on there yet i just i don't want to bombard them you know it, it, you know it's be a bit crazy if i start posting too much at once right so it's 21 isn't it so let's have a look what we've got People are, are all I know about this. Of um, one of my Facebook friends, Lindsay, and Lindsay does watch my uh, videos. Uh, so hi, Lindsay. Um, I saw her comment saying um, that she's in she's in isolation again for the third time, but she's had three spotty red and white spotty parcels turn up today, which will mean the Mandy Shaw things, and uh, and she really loves what's in the calendar today. So I'm actually quite excited. Um, I have ordered some dressmaking fabrics this morning, but after I'd ordered them, I realised they're not—they're not, they're not going 
to be sent before Christmas, but that really doesn't matter to me because these makes I wasn't intending on making before Christmas. One is like a, um, a fabric to make a jacket. The jacket's going to be a bit out there. and uh, I've had a, the pattern I wanted to use for ages, but never had the suitable fabric. Uh, I'm going to make another pair of leggings, like the green fur leggings I made this year, but this is a proper sport fabric. And I bought like another kind of sweatshirt in fabric and those are all going to be coming you know after Christmas so that's something to look forward to it's a bit of dressmaking so I better get loads of dressmaking done after Christmas so here we go this is what we've got today oh uh, I've got my jingle bell jumper on today I thought it was a jingle bell jumper kind of day um if you wonder why I haven't made many well I haven't I haven't been wearing my me made jumpers all through this vlogmas um I, like I might have done at the very start is I'm kind of trying to save them because they're not Christmas themed and these are obviously very Christmas themed I'm trying to wear all the ones you can only really wear over Christmas now and then kind of can look forward to the ones that I was wearing kind of like November time and things you know it's something to look forward to isn't it so I'm sorry I'm going on again so this this is how it's looking today right I'm gonna get on with it I know I like to talk, don't I? But I'm just getting excited about ordering dressmaking fabrics. Ah! Oh, do you know what? This makes a lot of sense, right? Last year, I was... I didn't do this, like, open my calendars day, my calendar daily. But I had two calendars last year, Mandy Shaw and a sewing quarter calendar. And I didn't show them every day, but I did a video where I showed some of the things I got. And I had a tin last year, right? It says, L I love sewing. It's really cute. And, um, and I wasn't sure who I'd got it off. It was this one. And now, now I can see they're exactly the same shape. So I don't put anything in this one last year. Oh, there's a, <laughs> oh, there's a back. Oh, well, excuse me. I dropped it. There's just the battery in it for something. Do you know what? If I hadn't looked in there, I would never remember that that battery's in there. How funny. So I do keep a selection of little tins. Oh, I've got another one here, actually. I've got that one. I wonder if I did get one of these in the sewing tree. Ah, that's where they are. <laughs> I've got thimbles. <laughs> I did wonder where my thimbles were, actually. That's why I'm going to go through all those tins, actually, when I get a chance and see what I've, what's lurking in them. I'll probably put them in there to think it's a good idea. Oh, there's nothing in this one. <laughs> Well, I remember the new one, there's nothing in it. So, oh gosh, excuse me, if you, I've got a bit of a red nose. I've, I've, I've had a bit of a, I don't know if it's my allergies and my nose runs and it starts to get a bit sore and it looks a little bit red. So I don't know if you can see that on uh, on camera. So yeah, that's what I've got in my calendar today. So no doubt I'm going to find something to put in there and forget that I own it and then think, where the hell is that? You know, so, right. So I'm going to go now because I've got loads of shopping to do and things and, ho and what I might do is because I know I've got brown pipe cleaners I know I've got pipe cleaners somewhere else but I just don't know where I've put them if I don't I'm gonna have a quick look to where I think they might be over there and if they're not there while I'm on my travels I might get some white pipe cleaners so I can finish my mice so, so that's where I'm at the moment I'm getting dangerously close to Christmas now um getting things done Christmas related this side of Christmas the time is becoming extremely tight um still no Christmas tree but electrics are being done again as we speak the skirting that I thought was delivered last week wasn't delivered the skirting has arrived today so we're getting close I'm go I'm determined to get I'd, we're not going to be getting the real tree we're not going to the Christmas farm we've decided we're not gonna have time now anyway and get the real tree we're just going to get the artificial tree down and we're going to get it down in the garden room and we won't have one in the in the house this year not unless we've got like a fiber optic one or something lurking up there so we'll just see what happens so you might see a christmas tree on my vlogmas at some point you might not we'll just <laughs> we'll just see what happens anyway hopefully i'll have something for you later but if not i'm going to say bye to you now oh do you know what 
I keep doing this, don't I? Mandy Shaw's website. Right, I'm going to take you to Mandy Shaw's website, but I'm not going to come back on camera unless I've got feel like I've got something to say about it. Right, let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Day twenty one, minute in. Don't leave any pins hanging around after all that crafting. Pop them in your little tin. I might have to use mine for some headache tablets. <laughs> right, I'm back. I have come straight back and feel poor Mandy. I think she's going to need some headache tablets with everything that's going on, you know, for a blesser. So, uh, yeah, so that was nice seeing that today. I don't know what I'm going to keep in mind. I don't tend to keep pins in tins because I use, like, ma magnetic pin cushions. I've got, I've got a, um, a couple. Well, I, I own... I own two of these. One I tend to just keep sewing pins and... Um, safety pins that one's got pins on and i've got um like a teal with white spot one as well but i do i did sort out all my pins and these yellow ones they're so blunt now i, I like using them to stick like pattern pieces together and things that's why i've kept them but i could do with really getting another pin cushion and separate it i suppose i could put all those yellow pins in a tin so i don't keep trying to use them and they're like really blunt but uh it was nice seeing maddie's website and by the look of it we've all got a different style tin and uh, do you know what i love a little tin so i'm really delighted with that today so thank you again for jo so much for joining me again today hopefully i'll be back later if i'm not please forgive me because it's all getting a bit crazy but um it's been lovely that you're stopping by and fingers crossed i'll be back later so see you later bye right i'm back again the time is quarter to five and it's been mayhem basically um i went i dropped my son off um so we could go for a walk um with his girlfriend um i attempted to go to the co-op and there was no way to park so i thought i can't be bothered with this so i drove further went to tesco I've never seen so many cars in a car park, in Tesco car park ever. And there was no trolleys, so I had a basket. I was on my own. Um, obviously, I didn't have the help from my eldest son, who often will come shopping with me. And I haven't got because uh, he was with his girlfriend. Then I hadn't got the help from my husband, because he's out in the garden. Because um, my eldest son, uh, as I keep saying mine, ah, my husband likes to say our, but I always say mine, my, you know, it sounds awful, doesn't it? Our, our son dug up the path up to the garden room. So my husband has put the membrane down today and he's shoveling stone into it. So he's busy doing that. So off I went to Tesco and I looked down there and there were so many empty shelves and I was like, I couldn't find, I couldn't find the potatoes that I wanted uh i did eventually there were like a few left and things so i ended up buying the christmas dinner i haven't got to buy the turkey because um our in-laws are dropping over half a turkey on christmas eve and they got that from the farm so i've managed to get all my christmas dinner two puddings like norm like it absolutely grieves me to buy a christmas pudding because i would normally if i was doing dinner at home i would make three in october you know so uh you know be ready and everything but obviously i haven't got the time now with the last minute pub cancellation so i've bought one but it's not like i had a choice of a christmas pudding I had to just have whatever there is but it did say luxury on it so you never know got some custard i've bought a ready-made cheesecake that uh, has got a reindeer face on it uh and then basically i filled all that in the basket oh, and i got some ready ready uh, mince meat and I got myself a new little um, bun tray you know if I put in in the oven I've got a couple but because I do like little things in them like with without putting cupcakes you know like you do like mini omelettes and mini things and whatever they get a bit messed up don't they so I bought a nice brand new one to do my um mince pies but obviously I'm not making my own mince meat this time I'm going to make my own pastry but I'm not making the mince meat but it's not I'd normally want to buy a nice mince meat but it looks like the cheapest nastiest one it left that's all that was left and there was just so many empty shelves and um and then what and i didn't and then i come out of there and then i realize i've got nothing for dinner so and the time now is nearly 10 to 5 and i think i better um 
I better sort out some dinner. Get me? <laughs> I think I better go out again. And uh, so I've got Christmas dinner. And then I realised when I got home, the pigs in blankets pack a board that had ready-made balls of stuffing, which is great. It uh, goes out of date on the 24th. So I've had to put it in the freezer because obviously it, you know, it could be bad smelling by Christmas day. So yeah, I just feel like it's a bit like I've got, I'm dealing with Christmas for a big family all on my own. Um, because obviously my husband, he's just having to do this garden room, trying to get it ready. So we've actually got places to sit and so we can get stuff out so we've got somewhere to sit and eat at a table so it's a bit crazy so uh i have i did nip in here after all that craziness at the shop i had a and i cleaned up in the kitchen and that and mopped all the floor because it's been dragging all dirty and um i've cleaned up all in the kitchen had a copper and a biscuit i thought you know what i'm just going to do a tiny little bit of sewing so i have done a little bit my mice now have tails so uh i'll just show you this is the um, the daddy one, and the mummy one, and the baby one. So they're looking nice. So all they need now are their noses, which I still haven't decided on what I'm going to do for their noses. And if I've got anything or whatever, I do not know. But um, I have got the little trim. So um, look, they could go without the trim, but as I've, I ordered it to use on the mice... So they're going to have the little trim round the neck. So, yeah, so it's given me a, a little bit of escapism, actually, just coming in here. It hasn't taken me long. I didn't manage to get to Hobbycraft to get um, pipe cleaners, but I've still got this stick man kit. And, I, and I've pinched some of the pipe cleaners out of here, these. So I've still got a little bit left if I want to make more of the stick um stick family but i won't be doing that this year anyway so i've got i've got all year or two or whatever to get more brown pipe cleaners if i need them so that's where i'm at today i don't know if i'm going to be back later uh i don't know if i'm going to be filming anything else today but if i don't do any more thank you so much for watching today and i'll see you tomorrow and if i do bring something i do bring something so thank you again for watching my vlogmas and i'll see you again either later or tomorrow bye